Joe, this is uh, Sarah. We are uh, starting a YouTube channel um, to document life on the boat that we just purchased. Um, so we thought we'd do a little quick intro video to talk about the decision we made to do this a little bit and um, what we plan to do going forward. Um, so started last, last summer, we made the decision that we were going to sell everything we had for the most part and buy a boat to live on. It was really prompted by our stay at Joe's parents' cottage for a week. We woke up every morning, it was on the water, and we just decided it was beautiful and we could wake up every morning like this. Yep, so uh, we were going to put the decision off a little bit, but then uh, during the pandemic the housing market went crazy, so we said, well, you know, why don't we just take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. So we sold our house and um, did pretty well with the house and were able to purchase a boat. So that purchase was, we can talk about that more in another video, that was a whole other bag of worms. <laughs> um, a video and a half. <laughs> and, uh, but finished that back in uh, a few months ago. Um, the boat was in, got, we put it in winter storage and uh, so fast forward to now, we're getting ready to leave. The boat is currently in Maryland, we're up in New Hampshire. so. Um, in a couple of days, we're going to be driving down uh, to Maryland to pick up the boat. I've uh, got about a week's worth of work to do while we're down there, and then going to be sailing it up. Visiting with family for me, I guess. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> celebrating Joe's birthday and Easter. <laughs> so we've we've got a plan for the float or for the for the sail up, and um, we'll show you all that. It'll be about we're going to take it easy. So the plan of I got a couple family members going to join me on the boat for the sail up for the most part. And then uh, Sarah and the girls are going to drive up, and once once I get up to Massachusetts, we'll uh, swap out, and the girls will jump on, and that's that's mostly just to give me five days on the boat um, with uh, my father and brother to figure things out and kind of get comfortable before we bring the girls on, and I have, that way I, I don't have to think about what they're doing and where they are. Um, I'll take care of them, but yeah, be able to help Joe at the same time. <laughs> so, um, more to come. We've got about a week's worth of work and stuff, so we'll film all that, and uh, we'll see where it goes. We've got a plan for this. We're going to be living on the boat spring, summer, and fall for now, um, and then doing a winter rental uh, in the winter, and then so we'll break up the show into seasons. And our primary goal of the show is just really just to share our experiences uh, with family and friends, but if it takes off and becomes popular and what not, so be it. But, but we uh, have so many people interested and excited for us that it's just going to be fun to show everybody what we're doing and how our lifestyle kind of hasn't really changed, but it will, will change for the better. And just, you know, if you're interested, pop on and see what's going on in our lives. You know, we'll still be homeschooling. We'll still be taking care, care of two girls, cooking, cleaning, you know, the usual day-to-day -day stuff, working. Um, but yeah, follow so us along. <laughs> up next, we're going to be... Uh, Packing all of our stuff up and heading on down. So yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for checking in and watching. Check out this view. This is our winter rental. This is up uh, a lake up here in New Hampshire. It's unreal. Been super lucky to have been able to get this house for the winter. Hopefully we can do it again next winter. But yeah, this has been our view every day this winter. That's a island over there. It's got a bunch of eagles that live on it. So that's been a lot of fun. You can when the lake freezes over it uh they'll land on the ice and eat fish right in front of you it's awesome there's looms that live over there on the corner of the island too it's absolutely gorgeous so here's pretty much most of our stuff we've done a lot of reduction and uh this is what we've got left there's like a little bit more in the house but hopefully hopefully this all fits otherwise we'll be just donating more stuff and then this all this pile here is all the stuff we're doing for boat projects. So more to come on that.
packed up. We're taking a big red truck down to Maryland. A friend of mine's buying it, so we'll be leaving that there. Probably only going to fit about three quarters, I'm guessing, of what we're actually bringing down, but more to come on that. I guess we'll figure it out when we get there. And we got the girls following. Heading to my parents, going to pick up uh, Dad and then continue south. 